hello everyone welcome back in this video we will discuss another question from c programming language so let's start the question is rewrite the following program using conditional operator first we will understand this program then we will convert it using conditional operator you can see here we have a main function here and inside it we have a two variable that is a equal to 1 and b equals to 12 both are integer variable and we have a if condition that if the value of variable a is greater than 10 then assign the value of p with value 20 then print out the value of the variable b then print out the b variable we can see from this program that this is a condition this is a one kind of condition that if the value of variable is greater than 10 then we have to assign the value of b with the value 20 then we have to print out the b variable so we can convert this program with conditional operator so if you don't know about conditional operator you can see a separate video on conditional operator but in this program to solve this question again i will explain that what is conditional operator and how it works so let's understand the conditional operator so in this slide we will discuss conditional operator the first point is saying that conditional operator returns one value if the condition is true condition is true and return another value if the condition is false so the syntax is like that first we have in this section we we have to give a condition that a greater than 10 like this this is a condition if this condition is true then the true value will return otherwise the false value will be returned the conditional for the conditional operator we have to put the question mark and we have to assign this condition inside this two statement if the condition is true then it will return this one and if condition is false then it will return this one so we can see from example section that if the value of a greater than 100 then we will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 this operator is also called the ternary operator why this is ternary operator because this operator can operate on three operands that is why it is called the ternary operator now we will convert our target program using the conditional operator so um, let's start so this is our main program if you will compile and if you will run this program then the output will be like this why uh, the output is showing 12 because uh, the a variable is initiated as initiated with value 1 and b is initiated with value 2 mm but whenever the value of a is greater than 10 then we are assigning the value with 20 but in our case in this case the value of a is 1 for that reason the value of b is not assigned with 20 because this condition is uh, not uh, satisfying for that the old value of b is showing here that is 12 now if we will if we will assign the value of the a variable with uh, greater than 10 then it will give you the result as b with 20 value then it will give the output as 20 so uh, let me show that one now assigning the value of variable a is 11 that is greater than 10 if we will compile and run then you can see that uh, this program is returning 20 so i will convert both the cases with ternary operator so let me show that one so i converted this program with this program uh, in both of the case we have uh, a variable and b variable but in case of this conversion we i declared here one extra variable that is dummy variable and you can see here we have a conditional operator and in the condition section here I declare that if the 
value of a variable is greater than 10 then it will assign the value of it will assign the variable b with value 20 and otherwise it will take the value of the variable dummy variable with 1 <coughs> then i am printing the value of b variable so your question may arise that why you uh, take the third variable dummy variable because if you see our previous program that is if uh, we have the value of a variable is greater than 10 then we have to assign the value of variable b with 20 but we don't have here else case for that reason we taken we have taken that dummy variable because we cannot we cannot give blank in this space if you will not put anything in this section then this program will show error for that reason i initiated this variable other third variable and as and i assign the value of dummy variable with one so if we will compile and run then you can see that here in this case we have a value of variable is one a variable is one um, for that the condition is not satisfying so it is going to that part so it is assigning the value of dummy variable as one but it is not reflecting because we are not printing here anything with the dummy variable we are printing only b variable for that it is showing the result as 12 because in this case the value 20 is not assigned with b because this condition is false but if we we'll change the value of a variable with 1 to 11 that is greater than 10 then you can see the result so i am assigning the value of variable with 11 and if we we'll compile and run you can see that now the value of variable is showing 20 because now this condition is satisfying that a greater than 10 whenever a will be greater than 10 then it will go to this part that is it will assign the b variable with value 20 and it will ignore this part so from value 12 it is updating with the value 20 after that it is printing for that reason it is showing 20 here so i think it is clear for you if you have any confusion or doubt you can ask in comment section we will try to solve so thanks for watching see you again bye bye